Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Virus Serviceability Engineering Group, and today we're going to do a short video on how to remotely identify the server type on System Platform. So why do we want to know the server type? There's actually a few reasons. Number one, we always want to check our knowledge base for trouble related to a particular System Platform release, application template, and or server type. The second would be for the technician, installer, or engineer who happens to be going on site. It gives them a chance to put on some refresh material on that server type. Extremely useful if they've not worked on that server in a while. And the third and probably most important is for order and or repair. It ensures that we ship the correct field replaceable unit and or parts. Parts being things like hard drives, the power supply, or the unique RAID battery. Server is currently supported by a system platform. On the left are the servers. On the right is the output and CLI when we run the remote ID command. The S8300D, the S8510, the S8800, the HP DL360G7, and the Dell R610. Some of the applications refer to the S8510 as a Dell 1950. As you can see, we're logged into System Platform as admin, and we're in Domain 0. Again, critical we be in Domain 0 to run this command. The first thing, though, we're going to do is see what software version we have on this machine. So I type the command SW version. And I can see I have 6.0.3.6.3, so 6.0 Service Pack 3, Patch 6. To run the remote ID command of the server type, I have to be logged in as root. So I'm going to SU to root, enter the root password. Now I'm logged in to DOM0 as root, and I'm going to run the command to remote ID the server. The command is DMI decode space dash s space system dash product dash name. And you can see on this system is an X3550 M2. And by our chart, that said it was an S8800 server. So now we know what the server type is and we know how to find the server type in domain zero on system platform. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoravai.com or on Twitter at avaiamentor. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.